Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I have, I'm down in the lair, which is kind of my workshop down in the basement. I've got the wood stove going. I've got chickens peeping at me through the window. And uh, I have this table that I thrifted, uh, I don't know, a few months ago. And it's been sitting here and I just haven't had time to work on it. And I want to get it redone so I can get it into my booth something different, something to put stuff on and to sell, to resell. <laughs> uh, so this is just a regular, like a sofa table, I guess you'd say. It's got a couple of drawers in it, little, little drawers, but they're cute. This is adorable table. I love the bones of this table. It's really cute. Um, I'm going to sand it down. I'm going to try to sand it down a little bit because I don't want it to be this color. Go figure. <laughs> uh, it's going to be black on the bottom. I think the top I'm going to try to, depending on how da far down I can get it, because it is that um, laminate top stuff that's, you know, like, I think that's what it is. It's pretty heavy, but I don't think that this is all wood. I think it's that laminate top. I'm not positive. And I want to try and get this top layer off. If I can get it down to raw wood or raw whatever and be able to stain it a lighter color, it would be great. Uh, if I can't, it may all end up being black. I'm not sure, but I have a couple of uh, pieces of sandpaper here. I have my sander. And we're going to see what we can do with this. I, that's my vision. The drawers I'd like to do. The same color as the top if possible who knows if that's gonna happen I don't know but we're gonna try to see what we have with the top and then go from there so if you're interested in seeing what I'm gonna do with this guy stick around <laughs> It's a, it looks like a maple. That would explain why it's so heavy. Uh, I don't have my mask on. Yeah, that's beautiful. And that's sanding down fairly easily. Not too bad at all. Okay, so I wanted to show you. I went over it with, this is 60 grit paper. And when you're sanding stuff, the lower the number, the heavier the grit. So this is very gritty paper. Very gritty. This is going to get off all that you need to get off um, and, and and make it clean. And then I have some higher grit, which is, this is 400. I think I have 400 and 600 left. So I'm gonna use the 400 and I don't know if you can tell the difference. Hopefully I get it in the screen there. This is the 60 and this is the 400. You can see the heavy grit on here and you can see the lighter grit on here. So what I'm going to do is I went over it with the 60 grit, the heavy grit, to get all that stain off. And now I'm going to take the 400 grit and go over it and just smooth it out. And it kind of polishes it up and makes it look so nice. Sometimes it brings out the uh, grain in the wood a little bit more, but it will just make it look... Uh, really nice and make it feel so smooth when you go over it. Right now it feels a little bit ragged. So I want to get it nice and smooth. So I did just this half to show you how nice this is. This is all cleaned off and this is all cleaned off. But can you see where it all like it brought out the uh, grain and the wood on this side and when you run your hand over it feel a vision if you could feel it you'd see it's just smooth silky smooth just by taking a lighter grit sandpaper and going over that this side is a little bit more kind of hairy i don't know how to explain it but it's just got a little more hair on it wood fibers sticking up and you can see that it's not you can't see the grain as well as this side and it's silky smooth over here and beautiful, beautiful colors. So I'm going to do this side and then uh, figure out what I'm going to do with the drawers. 
Now, when I take parts off my stuff, I always find something to put them in so that I can go back to it, keep it nearby. So I'm just gonna put it right in here and I'm gonna do the other one. was quick and easy. Now let's All right, so I'm going to start again with the drawer. I'm going to start with my 60 grit on my sander and I'm going to get this all off and then I'll go back in with my what was it 400 grit and sand it down so it's smooth like the top of the table. I'm not going to totally sand this down. I just want to hit it with the sander a little bit and scuff it up. It's pretty shiny. So uh, in order to spray it, I'm just going to scuff it up a little bit so this, this paint will stick. But it probably will stick fine anyway. Spray paint's pretty good. That's what I'm going to use. Uh, hang on. I'm going to use my Rust-Oleum Black spray paint. Um, It'll be easier than painting it, I think. I like to use this on furniture, especially when it's big. So I'm just gonna touch this with the sander a little bit, and then I'll be using this to spray it on. I have a piece of plastic that I'm gonna tape along the edge here to keep the top from getting any of the spray paint on it. And uh, then I'll flip it around and do the other side. Okay. Before I get started painting, first of all, I don't know if you can see them, but I've got spies in the window. Oh, there they are. Look at them. They're checking me out. This is noises going on. <laughs> I went up and got my wood glue because as I was sanding back here, I realized that this has a little, little spot where it's trying to break off. So I want to get that fixed before I paint, do anything else to it. So I just have a little paintbrush, dipped it into my glue. I'm going to pull that down a little bit. I don't want it to break off. So that's why I'm using my little paintbrush. If I can. Little guy here. I'm going to put, put him on there. Okay, so I'm just using the plastic to cover up where I have sanded so that the spray paint won't get on where I sanded because I want that to be stained. So I'm just giving it a little bit of, you know, cover so that it uh, won't get where I don't want it. This is all dry and now I want to stain the top. So I'm just going to show you or tell you, kind of explain how I make my dark stain that I have. I have this pickle jar uh, that I'm just reusing and it's um, what you do is you buy a can or a bottle of Waverly Antique Wax or some kind of darkish wax. Uh, this works for me. I don't know about the other stuff this is kind of liquidy so it works well so this one is eight ounces so I take a whole eight ounces and put it in this jar then I take it and fill it up with water eight ounces of water put it in this jar mix it up really well I take about a tablespoon of black paint I usually use chalk paint because I have it around but it doesn't really matter, I don't think, what kind. And I put it in with my water and my antique wax. I mix it up and it comes out like a very dark wax because of the black paint. Just mix it together really well and then it's ready to use anytime. Uh, I try to keep a bunch of it together because I really like 
using this as stain. Found out I don't have any left of the regular antique wax, so I can't just use that today. So I'm gonna have to use my dark wax. I added a little bit more water to it to water it down some so it wouldn't be so dark because I do want this to be a little bit of a lighter top. So we're gonna see how it comes out. I'm gonna brush it on and then wipe it back and see what it looks like. So today I've got just a, a clean rag and I've got a foam brush, probably, I don't know where I got it from, wherever you get foam brushes from. Probably got it from Walmart, who knows. But I'm just gonna put it on, brush it on. Okay, I'm gonna wipe it back and see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's a nice light stain. Now the edges are gonna stay dark because it's not made of the same material, it's more of a fiberboard. Uh, the top is actually, I think it's maple. So I think that's gonna work. Now I'm taking some flat black spray paint and spraying it into a cover of a can and I'm going to take a small brush and paint around the outside of the top. Flat black and we're going to spray. While the handles are drying, I'm just gonna take my sandpaper. This is pretty aggressive, so I'm just gonna go light. And just go along the edge lightly to define the edge. Give it some age. Now you could leave it. You could leave it just like that. Oh, that's fine if that's what you like. I like a little bit of distressing. So I'm gonna do that all along these raised edges like this. And that just gives it a distressed look. It looks Gives it some character and less plain to me, but I mean, I like it this way too, but I like the distressed, so that's what I'm gonna do. Now that the table is finished and put back together, I'm gonna seal it with some Rust-Oleum spray sealer. It's a clear matte sealer. I do a thin coat and then I'll let it dry and go back and do another coat. The top will get a few coats of polycrylic sealer. I just don't have any on hand at the moment. To give a little surprise, a pop of color and cover up a nasty spot inside the one of the drawers, I decided I'm gonna take both of them and give them a coat of my Oops Paint, just a lighter color. I'm gonna take some Tim Holtz uh, collage paper and I'm going to put that down inside of the drawer. So when you open them up, you have this little surprise of a nice, beautifully lined drawer. I did one coat of the paint and once it was dry, I took a little bit of Mod Podge and put it in the bottom of the drawer, just little sections at a time. I had cut the decoupage paper down so that it would fit just a little bit bigger than the drawer I'll go back and trim that up once it is dry and sealed.
Now the paper wasn't quite tall enough to fit the whole drawer, so I cut another piece the same size and then cut that in half, one for each drawer. So all I had to do was just add some Mod Podge to the top of the paper in the drawer so that the top, the bottom of the paper that I was putting in would stick to it. It worked just fine and it looks pretty good really. Now to make the paper on the inside go along with the distressed part on the outside, instead of the stark white paper, I'm going to use some Tim Holtz spray and it's an antiquing spray. So it's gonna yellow the paper a little bit and give it some spots that look like kind of aged yellowed spots. So I'm going to spray that on there and then just dab it off lightly to get it to look a little bit more aged when you open the drawer. guys enjoyed my primitive table makeover I hope you really like how it came out and I really like the drawers I think it came out really cute it's a nice little surprise when somebody opens the drawer up it finishes it off nicely and I really like it I like how it came out it's something that I would love to have in my home I'd love to keep it but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go in my booth for sale so I'd like to thank you for watching and for stopping in and checking out my channel I appreciate it. If you haven't already, if you would subscribe to the channel, if you're interested in videos like this one, and don't forget to like and comment. Let me know what you think of the table. What would you do differently? Would you paint it a different color? Would you keep it the same? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.